Darren Steen here. We've got a great tricep movement. It's very uh, unique and unorthodox, and it doesn't feel a sharp, precise focus on the tricep at the back of the arm, but is, uh, it is coined as more of a mass builder, and I'd like to introduce it to you and consider it in the future. Okay, we've got two options. It's a close grip bench press. We've got two options with the close grip bench press. I say the mistake most people make is they go too close. They think, you know, on the bench press, uh, a little bit wider than shoulder width, a grip on the bar is good at focusing on the chest, which it is. And they, so someone tells them uh, a real narrow grip focuses on the tricep. Well, that's too narrow and it, it stresses the wrist out, the forearms out. So uh, a, a moderate uh, narrow grip focuses more on the triceps uh, than the chest, just like we talked about in a previous video today about uh, elbows out to feel chest more, focus on more on a, a dumbbell, uh, on a, on a push-up, and elbows back behind you uh, to feel the triceps more. It's the same premise. So here's a close grip bench press. <clears throat> if this were my typical grip right here for the chest press, I'd want to bring it in to about right here. Right in here is too close. Same, same body position as a regular bench press. Kick those elbows out to the side, nice and slow. Lock those arms stiff and squeeze the triceps for a couple seconds at the top. <sighs> Try not to let the elbows flare out too much because that's more chest. I made a, a, a mistake earlier by saying that. You want to keep the elbows closer to the body <sighs> to focus more on the triceps. <sighs> now, we got a second grip that's possible to hit the, tr the tricep even differently, and that's a reverse grip and it's a very medium grip. So it's not wide, it's not incredibly narrow. It's a little bit awkward. The bar wants to, feels like it wants to come out of the hand a little bit. And this automatically forces your elbows to stay nice and close to your body. They, they obviously cannot uh, go out to your sides. Ah, breathing in, nice and slow. Try to put your mind, obviously your chest is working, but ah, lock your arms stiff, put your mind in your triceps. Tap, come right back up, especially the top half range of motion right here. Put your mind in your triceps, lock them stiff, and squeeze them. Rep range is real typical to what we suggest, recommend. Try to find a weight after you feel comfortable with the movement to where you absolutely get to failure safely in the 15 rep range. If it feels great, add just a little bit of weight, just a small increment up, probably a two and a half or a five on each side, and then try to get in a rep range of 12 on failure on the second set. Usually two sets is enough. So there you go, it's our close grip bench press with two different grips. All right, Doc's gonna demonstrate the close grip press for triceps. It's coming straight down, keeping those arms, elbows a little bit closer to the body, that's great. Breathing in. Lock and squeeze, good. Very good. Good job. Way to let that air come out nice and soft. Some people get a hyperventilated type feeling by blowing air out firmly through tight pursed lips. You want to open up the mouth and make a pa noise and let that air come out nice and soft. Because if you blow it out too hard, too many repetitions in a row, you can get a hyperventilation type feeling. boy, Good, arms are growing. All right, Doc, we're just going to do two more, and then I'm going to take the bar from you. And I want to save it a little bit, and then I want to reverse that grip and do a reverse grip. Nice and slow. I think that was like a failure. Excellent. <sighs> Very good. What am I doing? All right, Doc. Now, we'll just do a couple of reps since you're obviously in a fatigue state. Just for demonstration purposes, you're going to reverse your grip. Yep, you're going to reverse that grip opposite of that. Okay. There you go. Yep, push it up nice and high. Okay. okay. Now, take it away from your forehead a little bit. There you go. What now, doing? straight down? Yeah, bring it straight down and then straight up. Different muscles. Excellent. Of course. Definitely works different muscles. Breathing in. <laughs> boy. Drive it up. Let's do one more. I'm here. I'm here for you. We'll go down and up. Breathing in. And up. Uh, I'm going to try one more. All right, here we go. 
Good. Triceps are really getting focused on. I can feel it. Come on. And a boy. Okay. That's it. Two. That's it. And one. And I got it. Excellent. Obviously, that wasn't uh, ideal for Doc because we went to failure and then only gave him a few seconds rest. That's not what you want to do. But I just wanted him, I wanted you to see it and I wanted him to feel the, <sighs> that the triceps definitely feel a different feeling with the two different grips. So a good idea for you would be maybe to go the first, uh, first grip narrow and palms forward and then the second grip just a little bit wider but still narrow with the reverse grip just to give the triceps totally two different feelings on two different sets. Yeah. How'd you like it, Doc? It's definitely different. <laughs> great. All right, great job. There you go. There's another tool. You have the tools to make it happen. Go, go do it.